and welcome. Today we're going to be journaling in our um, Identity in Christ journal. And I'm going to be reading from the English Standard Version. I got this Bible off of Amazon. Highlighters from Amazon. Journal from Walmart. Stickers and cards could be found in my Etsy shop or in my shop in general. And I found this on Pinterest and this is where you can get it from. Now, today we're going to do I am forgiven I and I am accepted. So these two we will get from 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. 9 sorry and then Romans chapter 5 verse 17 so I'm going to read the first one and I'm going to go ahead speed up the video and add my stickers to my journal page come back and show you and then I'll start writing out my verses and I'm going to continue doing the two questions right here or the question and the prayer. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first one, I am forgiven. See? And that is in 1 John chapter 9 verse I'm sorry, chapter 1, verse 9. So I'm going to go, just give me one. Sorry, I'm going to go to that verse. So chapter 1. Verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So this is talking about forgiven, that I am forgiven by the Lord. And the next one is I am accepted so I'm going to bookmark that one in Romans 5 17 for if because of one man's trespasses, death ranged through that one man. Much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness range in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. So this is saying we're accepted by God and saying that no matter what we do, we're forgiven and accepted. So I'm going to go ahead and do those two verses. And I'll be right back. And I'm going to reread the verses as well after I've journaled them. So I'm going to speed up the video. So you can see me um, set up my journal page here in my journal.
Okay, so now I have my two pages done. I didn't use as many stickers as I have in the past because I am running low and I need to go ahead and print off some more stickers and cut them. But anyways, let's go to I Am Forgiven, which is 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. And we're going to read it a little bit. I didn't even mark off Romans. Let me um, do that real quick. Chapter 1, verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all righteousness, unrighteousness. So this is talking about that once we confess our sins to the Lord that he is very faithful towards us and will forgive us then he will cleanse us of all sins that we confess to but in order to be forgiven yes jesus died for us the ultimate sacrifice uh to be accepted into heaven is um you know we believe in jesus and faithful to jesus and we know except what jesus has done and that jesus did walk this earth but that's not the only way um it's one of the ways it's one of the main ways that we're accepted by God, but that is to remove our immortal sin. Okay, so number uh, verse nine is talking about another step to be forgiven by God is to confess our sins, any sin that we make on this earthly realm, um, to confess them to the Lord, and then He's very forgiving. That He's very faithful and will forgive us but we must go to him and confess our sins to be forgiven i know i've rambled <laughs> so i'm going to go ahead speed up the video and write down that verse um and i'm going to keep the same setup as i done before I'm going to write the title, the verse right here, and then I'm going to do a question and a prayer or two questions. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll be back to show you what I've done on this page. Okay, so I have my page. So what I did here, like I said before, I wrote the title and the verse. So 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, I am forgiven. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So my two questions are, how must I confess my sins? And why should I confess my sins? And then I had wrote my two answers. And then right here at the bottom, I wrote 1 John chapter 1 verse 7. Because this is kind of our answer to why. 
So, how must I confess my sins? To confess my sins, I must go to God to tell him what I've done. For if I don't confess my sins, I will form more sins. This is in verse 8. If we say we have no sin, we form all sin. Um, and then why should I confess my sins? God wants us to walk in light as he is the light. By confessing my sins to God, he is able to cleanse me so I can walk alongside him. So in verse 7, it states that. Um, this is supposed to be if, not I. If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. So these are the two ways to be cleansed of sin. Having fellowship, fellowship with one another. Um, accepting Jesus Christ as son. And to confess our sins to God so he can be faithful to us and forgive us. Okay, so I'm going to move along. We're going to be, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and underline this. I am accepted, which is Romans chapter 5, verse 17. Verse 17, where are we? For if because of one man's trespasses, death reigned through that one man, much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness range in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. So this is stating that just because one man had sinned, you know, he death became him. And if we, no matter what we do, we confess our sins, we accept Jesus, then we are accepted and we are given the abundance of grace and a free gift of righteousness because Jesus died on the cross for us to become righteous again with God, with the Lord. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that I done on this page. Um, I may do a prayer instead of two questions, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ahead and write this verse down and get started. So I'll be back after I speed up the video. Okay, so here is my spread for I am accepted in Romans 5, 17. Now, um, I did a question and a prayer for this one. It says, because of one man's trespass, death ranged through that one man much more Will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness range in life through the one man, Jesus Christ? My question was, what are we given through Jesus Christ? Because Jesus died for us. And by doing so, he died for our trespasses, which is our sins. By doing that, we were given the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness from God. 
See, Jesus had a gift for all of us from God. And in order to give us that gift that God so much wanted to give us, Jesus had to pay the ultimate price, which was dying. But by dying for us, he was able to give us the gifts God wanted us to have. And now he's sitting at the right hand of God. He's up there with God. Um, so, yeah. So, that's the gif of it. And we're given, by Jesus doing this, we're given the gifts that God wanted us to have which is abundance of grace and righteousness then okay i'll get you some then i wrote a little prayer dear god thank you for giving giving that's supposed to be ing um giving us your only son to take away our sins who i must have been preoccupied with Shh. our sins through him we are given the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness amen so this little snip of prayer is just thanking god letting him know that i appreciate him giving his only son to us to in order to give us the gift of abundance of grace and a free gift of righteousness. So, those are my two spreads. Um, next time I come on, I will do I Am Delivered, which is Psalms 34, 4. And I am sealed with the Holy Spirit, which is uh, Ephesians 1.13. Um, and because, see, there's the next one, Ephesians 2.10, which is I am God's handiwork. I'll do that together as well. So if y'all have any questions, please feel free to ask below in the comments. And everything I've shown today will also be linked in the description. So thank you so much and I'll see you later. Bye.